I'm already back home after spending one month in Northern Quebec. If you're new to my channel, I'm a nurse and for one month I traveled for work in a Cree community. In my last video, I spoke about my first week. In today's video, I will be sharing my experiences from my last three weeks there. Many of you who follow me on Instagram want to know what happened to my eye. Before I share with you what happened to me, I want to talk to you about the Cree culture. 15 minutes from town in the bushes, their family had a cabin and a teepee. A teepee is a room traditionally made of animal skins on wooden posts. The teepee you see in the video is already a modern teepee. The first time I was at their home, we ate moose and turkey. The moose meat was really good. I really liked it. La personne vient se cacher ici derrière quand ils viennent chasser le, les outardes. Et ça, c'est des fausses outardes pour, bon, c'est la façon de attirer les outardes ici. Donc la personne va venir se cacher ici. Et voilà. I was invited to their home a second time for the 48th wedding anniversary of Michelin parents. There we ate turkey and grilled partridge. The partridge is a type of bird. <laughs> I also learned that they have an interesting tradition when they have a children. The baby has the right to walk on the earth only when spring comes. If it's a boy on the day of the walking out, he is dressed as a hunter. If it's a girl, she is dressed as a harvest gatherer. The babies are introduced to the Cree community. The future hunter and the future harvest gatherer. That means until spring arrives, parents have to carry their babies in their arms every time they leave the house because the babies cannot touch the ground without the ceremony. And here I have some videos for puppy lovers. Okay, okay the puppy is capable de pas avoir peur. <laughs> It's your puppy! You're your toy? <laughs> And now, let's talk about what happened to my eye. Hello, tout le monde. Donc, euh, aujourd'hui, ça va pas bien avec mon œil. Euh, je me dirige vers la clinique parce que j'ai vraiment l'œil enflé. Et la raison pourquoi j'ai l'œil enflé, c'est vraiment con. Je me suis foutu mon mascara dans l'œil hier, là. Je me suis pompée. Depuis, ça, ça marche pas. Donc, sur moi, j'ai une euh, abrasion. Abrasion. Abrasion de la cornée. Donc, on va à la clinique que chercher des larmes artificielles parce que je croyais que ça allait passer après quelques heures, mais j'ai vraiment enflé de l'œil. C'est ça. Mais si tu me dis que ça va. Mais d'habitude, je vais que j'ai l'œil pour être sûr. Hi, everyone. Ils vont te geler l'œil, ils vont juste aller faire un petit examen, voir s'il y a des abrasions. Oui. Mmh. Ça va juste geler l'œil, ça fait pas mal, ok? Ça 
Elle se tait. Ça fait juste à peut-être voir un petit peu aujourd'hui. Qu'est-ce qui arrive du souvent, c'est de regarder les. Je vois moi que les jaunes, c'est normal, c'est vrai que je vois toujours jaune. Ouais. Zit! Oh, oh wow! Nice, oh my god, trop cool! Ouais, ça a l'air vraiment encore meilleur. Comment quand je le sais? Oh wow! Ouais. C'est ce point-là? Ouais. C'est donc bien nice! Okay, à gauche. À droite. Wow! En bas. Ok, non, ça c'est ok. C'est vraiment. Euh, ouais, t'as une petite abrasion corméenne, non? After four days, my eye had returned to normal with antibiotics. On our last day in the clinic, the community experienced something extremely rare. There was a polar bear. And the polar bear was not in East Main first, it was brought to East Main because it was the closest town. Maybe you don't see how the climate change is affecting our planet, but this is a proof of it. Well, there was a biologist there and she was explaining to us what are the tests that they're going to do on the bear to see if he had a disease, what was in his system just a couple of days or weeks before to see if maybe he, he was hungry, to be able to understand why he came down south. For most of the community, it was the first time they had seen a polar bear. The community held a ceremony for the bear's life and thanked him. On a happier note, we were presented with a beautiful and thoughtful gift from the clinical staff on our last day. It was very nice from them to think of us. <laughs> Just put me up. Uh, uh, can you turn and, and, and do for me too? And thanks also everyone in the clinic. It was an amazing experience for my first time in the North. I learned a lot about the culture and the amazing community. A special thanks to Micheline. Thank you so much for inviting us at the cabin. We were so happy to share with your family and you. That's all for today's video. Stay tuned for my next videos because another new adventure awaits us in a couple of weeks. Aguda!